before I start this episode off, I just want to say thank you guys for 100 subscribers. I couldn't thank you guys enough, so I decided to make a little repeating task saying my thank yous for you guys. And I hope you guys continue to support me throughout this series and the videos that I post. So thank you guys. I couldn't thank you enough. And let's get into the episode. What is going on, guys? My name is Baron, developer B here. And welcome back to episode 25 of the Bucket Coding Tutorial Series. And in this episode, I'm going to teach you guys how to make numbered cooldowns. And pretty much what a numbered cooldown is, is whenever you are trying to use the command again or you want to display a countdown or cooldown somewhere, you can actually keep track of numbers and stuff associated with cooldowns or countdowns. And I'll show you what I mean in a second. It'll make a lot more sense. And we're going to do it with the Ultimate Sword plugin. And we are actually going to be using a new feature of Java today that we've never used before. And it is called Hash Maps. So I saved it a little bit later because they're a little bit more complex than some of the other stuff we've done. But this is a really, really simple plugin that we're doing. And I'm just going to go ahead and get started. And I'm going to start making my hash map so a hash map pretty much contains a key and a value it's like an array list except it contains two values and you are associating one value with another of two different types or the same type if you could do that but it would be kind of pointless but let's go ahead and say player and integer so we are associating a player with an integer and this is their cooldown number the number of seconds they have left in their cooldown and we're gonna call this just cooldown like we did for our array list and we can just say new hash map and you used to have to put the values here but now you don't in this new update of java so now we are good to go i actually went ahead and did this so we are going to need to make our player variable down here final because we are going to be using a bucket runnable so go ahead and do that in your command make sure your player variable is a final which means you can't reassociate the variable which is kind of easy so we have our cooldown here and it's going to act a lot like an array list so what we're gonna do is go right here and we are going to say if cooldown dot get or contains key player so if it doesn't contain the key player and the player is the key because it is the first value this is the key and this is the value, so we are associating the key with the value. And we're just going to go ahead and surround all of this in there like so. And then we are actually going to start this cooldown. So go down here and say cooldown.put. And this is how you add a player to the cooldown. And you just put the player, and then we're just going to have the number of seconds we want them to be in the cooldown, so 10. So we are associating the player with 10. And now we can actually get on here and start our bucket runnable and cooldown process. So we are first going to say new bucket runnable. And we're using this type of method because we can actually cancel inside of the runnable, which is really cool. So just go ahead and say new bucket runnable and hit that like so. And we can just put a public void run here. This is a lot like a repeating task that we're going to be doing. It's just a bucket runnable instead of the scheduler. So after these brackets right here, go ahead and type a dot. And you can see we have a bunch of different values. Run task timer, run task asynchronously. And we're actually going to do this run task timer asynchronously. Asynchronously, yeah. And go ahead and do that because we can run this asynchronously to the plugin and we can run it in a repeating state so go ahead and put the plugin which is this class delay is how long you want to delay before the runnable starts and we're just going to put zero we want to start it right away and the long period is how often we want it to repeat which is 20 ticks so one second and there we go so this is going to repeat every second now and inside of this, we're just going to say, we're going to check if cooldown of player. So the cooldown dot get player pretty much returns this value. So cooldown dot get player returns the value of the player, if that makes sense. So this is returning an integer, as you can see, and we're going to check if it is zero. So pretty much if the cooldown is done, 
doing its thing. And after that, then we can actually remove the player from here. So you just say dot remove player, pretty easy. And then we can cancel this. So this cancel method will cancel this task timer and then we can return so it doesn't continue. And down here, we are just going to reinstate. This is pretty much going to lower the cooldown every second. So we actually just have to re-put the player back inside of the cooldown. And since there can't be any repeats, it's just going to replace the old one that the player had. And we're going to put player in to the value of their old value minus one. So it's going to remove a second from their last value. So it would go nine, then eight, and it would go down continuously. And now we can go ahead and do that. And we're going to say if it does not contain the key, then we're actually going to have to put this inside of there. I didn't think of that. So go ahead and put this whole thing inside of here. And there we go. And we can say else right here. And this is where we're going to send the player a message. So we're going to send the player a message, chat color red, And we are going to say, you cannot obtain the ultimate sword for another. And then how we retrieve our seconds is we can just say cooldown.getPlayer. That's going to give us the amount of seconds left. Seconds, like so. And that is going to return 9, 8, 7, 6, whatever. So there we are. We are actually done with this plugin. That's how simple that is. There isn't really much else we could do. And there we go. So plugin.yml is the same. We've done this ultimate sword plugin. The first time we used this was in our customizable item stacks. And then we did it for a cooldown without a timer, but now we're doing a cooldown with a timer so we can check how many seconds are left. So let's go ahead and build this. So let's find ultimate sword, build, and there we go. Let's go ahead and go in game and reload. There we go. So now let's go ahead and try and get this ultimate sword. So we just type ultra sword. There we go, we got the sword. And as you can see, if we keep using this, the number of seconds is actually going down. So now it says three, two, one, and now we can use it again. And it's just going to keep doing that over and over again. So you can see it's going down just like we want it to. So thank you guys for watching. That was how to make a cooldown with a timer where it tracks the amount of seconds you have left until you can use that command or you do an action again. And I will see you guys in episode 26.